Hi everybody, this is Andy Curtis with Transfer Express, and today we're gonna press some hats. Uh, one of the questions we get at Transfer Express is how do you press a hat or a baseball cap? And we can understand that it can be a little bit intimidating at first if you've never used a cap press before. So today we're gonna demonstrate how to press on some of the most common types of headwear. The first one we're gonna go over is a six panel hat that is unstructured. So we know it's a six panel hat because we can see the panel down the front of it. If we look at the hat from the top down, we can clearly see six different panels making up the hat. That's what gives it its name, six panel. Uh, it's unstructured because when we open it up and look inside, I don't have any kind of uh, rough surface in here and I can easily fold the cap up and crumple it up without any problems. So we're gonna go ahead and start by pressing on this six panel hat. The first step to pressing this hat is I'm going to flip this sweatband out and up like this so it's not in my way and I have a totally flat surface on the inside here. I'm going to go ahead and load it on to the cap press just like that. I'm going to grab my little red handle here and I'm going to flip it downwards to pull the cap tight against the bottom of the platen. Now, Something else I have to make sure of here, because I'm working with this six panel hat, I have to ensure that my pressure isn't too high. So I'm gonna reach under here and I'm gonna adjust the pressure just a little bit. Because we have this seam down the center, if my pressure's too high, the transfer is gonna to wanna to melt into the seam and it's not gonna look good. So I've decreased my pressure just a little bit to compensate for that. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-press and um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my transfer down. Now the plus side to using one of these six panel hats is that that seam down the center is the best center point so I can easily center my transfer there without too much of a problem. Alright, I'm going to lock it down now. And hot peel. And there we go. The next one we're going to do is a five panel hat. I know it's a five panel because I can see there is no seam down the center. And when I look from the top down, there are one, two, three, four, five total panels to it. I'm going to load it up on the cap press the exact same way as I loaded the last one up by flipping out the sweat band, putting it flat on the press, and then flipping the lever down. Now, there's a point right here on the forehead where there would be a seam if it were a six panel. That's going to be my center point. So I'm going to make sure that's right smack dab in the middle. Looks good. I'm going to grab my transfer, ink side down using that point as my center. Looks good right about there. Lock her down. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and peel hot. And bring the lever up, and there's our THS Tiger's hat. All right, and for our third and last application, we're going to go ahead and do your standard visor. So I'm going to load it up the same way I've been loading the caps up. I'm going to flip my sweatband out to give me a flat surface here. I'm going to make sure my visor itself is down below, and flip my lever to pull it tight. Go ahead and pre-press it. Now, I don't have a good center point here. Uh, I've got two sets of seams though, and I can pretty clearly see where the center should be based on the two sets of seams on either side of my visor. So I'm gonna lay my transfer down there, lock down the press. I'm gonna peel hot, flip the lever up, and Here's our Wildcat's visor. And that's how easy it is to press a hat. Hats are a great economic add-on to any sports or spirit related sale and they're a great way to bring in some extra money to your business. This has been Andy Curtis with Transfer Express. Thanks for watching.